Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. I'm at headquarters having a pizza party with my girlfriends. Let's get cooking. To start our dough, we've got our bread flour in a large mixing bowl. We're going to spoon over this bread flour into our measuring cup, measuring out four cups, one at a time, loosely packing our flour, taking a straight knife across the top to measure this, just like you do when baking. Into a separate bowl it goes. We're gonna add one teaspoon of instant dry yeast to that, along with two teaspoons of kosher salt. We'll give that a little whisk to combine those ingredients, and then into a measuring cup, I've got warm water, one and a half cups. You want this to be between 105 and 115 degrees. We're at 111, which is perfect. I've already added to that three teaspoons of honey. Give this a mix to let that dissolve and then drizzle this over into our dry ingredients. Using a wooden spoon, we're going to mix this together. As we begin to mix this, we're forming a shaggy dough. This dough will start to release itself from the bottom along with the sides. Once it's nice and tacky, we're going to add to that three teaspoons of olive oil drizzled over the top and give a little bit of a mix. And then down onto our work surface, we're gonna dust some flour over it, and then down goes our dough. We're gonna knead this for about five minutes, and then cover it with a bowl, and allow this to just hang out and rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This gives us some time for our flour and our yeast to really combine as one and become smoother and easier to knead. Then we'll remove our bowl and get to kneading just for another five minutes. Separate this into three equal size portions or as equal as you can. Form our nice smooth balls and now is a time where you can either set these aside, cover them and let them rest for one hour to be used the same day or we can stick these in the refrigerator and use them the next day which if you have the patience you will love the way that this pizza comes out even better tomorrow. Before we start stretching this dough, let's get our Blackstone pizza ovens turned on so that they can come up to temperature while we stretch and dress our pizza. We just waited an hour, hung out and had some fun. Our dough is ready to stretch out. Onto our clean work surface goes a dusting of our semolina flour and down goes our dough. Using our fingertips, we're gonna begin to press out all of the air from the center of this dough forming a nice crust around the outside. Then taking the palms of your hands, continue to stretch, pressing out as much air as you can towards the outside. You can get fancy with it and use your fist to let gravity do its work and stretch even more. And now ladies, are you ready to start to load up your pizzas? Everybody has free range to get crazy, get wild, have fun with all of the toppings that we've prepared for you guys to have fun with. For me, I'm gonna go down with some pesto, a little bit of marinara, giving each their own little spot on my pizza. This is the fun part, getting to decorate it and make your own little piece of artwork. I'm gonna go with a big handful of some shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna pick some artichokes for this pizza. I love the flavor of artichokes. And a little bit of fresh basil leaves. Everybody's looks great. Tracy, your pizza looks beautiful. Mary Jo, I love it. Maddie, your pizza is so pretty. And Alana, I love the banana peppers on yours. Now it's time to get everybody's pizza up onto their pizza peels. Make sure to have a little extra semolina under your pizza. This way we can launch this successfully. I'm gonna slide our pizza peels right under this pizza. Once we've got everyone's pizzas up onto their peels, ready to launch, we're gonna use our Blackstone Instant Read and do a quick temp check Checking the temperature of our stone. In 60 to 90 seconds, everyone's pizza is done. Making this a quick, easy, fun pizza party. They all look so gorgeous. Let's get to slicing these with our Blackstone pizza rocker. And now it's time to enjoy these with my girlfriends. This has been so fun, a pizza party with my girlfriends. I hope that you guys at home get together with your friends, your family, whoever it is, and have a pizza party as fun as we did here. Did you guys have fun? Yes. yes. Thanks for hanging out with us on this pizza party.